Have you ever kissed a spider woman? I'm not recommending it, but I will tell you a little bit about a new musical called Kiss of the Spider Woman, which has arrived on the Norfolk theatrical scene 23 years after it last played on Broadway. It's not the kind of musical that invites you to go out humming the tunes. It's a dark setting. It is a show set in a dark prison in South America where a totalitarian regime rules. The gods are experts at torture. The only possible escape is fantasy. Call them hallucinations if you want. One of the prisoners is a young man who has been a victim most of his life and can escape mentally only by remembering the golden movies of his past life. His greatest heroine is a diva called Aurora, who once starred in a movie, you call, you guessed it, called Kiss of the Spider Woman. It is not by accident that this dark musical comes to the generic theater, which is appropriately located beneath Chrysler Hall. After all, this theater obviously wants to be something of an underground theater. It's the theater that dared to do the musical called Urine Town, which is about, was about people having to pay to pee. Now, that's a form of taxation we have even, uh, even uh, we haven't had yet. They also did a controversial rock show called Bloody Bloody Andrew Jackson. And it would be best to forget the musical, nude musical version they did of Equus, which is one of the more ludicrous things I've ever seen in any theater. And I've seen a lot of ludicrous things. I'd also like to forget that they totally missed the point by trying to turn cabaret into a real cabaret with the audience wearing swastikas and whooping it up. The present production is well directed by Garney Johnson, who does well with a difficult assignment. The play itself is based both on a novel by Manuel Pugue and a movie which brought an Academy Award to William Hurt. That role, the role of Melina, is now well, well played by the tenor Jeffrey Salia. Opposite him, and totally opposite, is the character of Valentine, which is giving an, an, an appropriately tough exterior, exterior by Rico Robinson. Now, the Spider Woman herself is suggested by Carla Robinson. She has a big personality, a big stage presence, and she delightfully is not a skinny little chorus girl. Kiss of the Spider Woman plays Thursdays through Saturday nights and Sunday afternoons at the Generic Theater through Sunday, June 28th. It is not a comfortable show, but it is a worthwhile one.